time signal. Uh, the real time signal which we are using here is audio signal. And the platform which is used is uh, Google Colab. So very first, uh, when, before to writing the code of uh, accessing of audio file in this Google Colab, we have to look for some of the supporting libraries. And the library which we are using here is Librosa, that is import.librosa, import, uh, import librosa display and import ipython.display as IPD, which is used to run the audio file in our system. And import matplot.pyplot as PLT is a library which is used to plot the time domain or frequency domain signal. After this supporting library, once we have written, we have to run this cell and check whether any syntax error is there or not. So this uh, click on tick has come. It is saying like all the syntax and the, the library format what is written is correct. Now we have to look into how to access the path of the audio file, which I have stored in my Google Drive. So to access the path of the Google Drive, we have to follow a few of the steps. And uh, uh, in that, the, some of the steps are to mount the Google Drive. And to do so, we have to, among so many icons, uh, as on the left-hand side, we can see, we have to go to File. And as soon as we are clicking like this, on the left-hand side, it is appearing. But we have to look for the drive. As uh, there is no folder, with the name drive has come. So it means my Google Drive is not mounted for this particular uh, work. So we have to go here, four icons are there. Very first is refresh. Uh, this is to import the file. This second one is to refresh. And the third one is to mount the drive. So we have to click over here and it will be asking, permit this notebook to access your Google Drive file. So we have to give connect to Google Drive. And after connecting to the Google Drive, it will be asking the credential and verifying that, it may take a few seconds to do so. And while doing that, we have to look into this particular site and wait for some. Now all of you can see the drive folder is appearing here. We have, we have to click here and we have to go to my drive. It is basically targeting to the, the drive which is having uh, attached with our Gmail account. So we have to click over here and we have to look for the various folders which is saved in particular drive as we all are saving some or the other document in this drive. So right. here one folder by the name Google Colab or Colab notebook will be coming. We have to click over there because I have stored my audio file in this particular folder. And we have to look into the various content which is saved and we I am looking for audio file. So I am going my training data set because the data set what I am using is my audio file. And I will be looking for any of the web file or any of the MP4 files, which is the supporting format for audio file. So I will be looking for car 001.web file, which I already have included. So we have to look for these three dots and the right click over here. Once you will right click, you will be seeing download, rename file, delete file or copy path. So we'll copy the path. And after copy the path, we have to paste here. As already I have pasted, if you are pasting, you see the content of theme will be appearing again. So I have pasted now. So two times the path has been written here. So I have to delete the old one. So this is indicate like I am able to add the path of my audio file in this particular code. And then I will execute this particular cell to check whether the path which is copied is correct or any type of syntax error is coming to the variable x. And the sampling rate here is marked as sr. So x dot sr equal to librosa.load, which already we have added the library librosa. And what we are loading here is that audio dot audio underscore path, which is already we have added here. Now to just check whether the audio file, which is added here as in the form of path is really working. So we have to run the third cell which is our audio file and it is marked with the variable ipd ipd was one of the library import ipython dot display as so the same ipd library we are using here to run our audio file which i have added the path so after running this particular cell we will be getting this type of one play button
which I said is really working in this particular code. Now to analyze the information of this audio file in time domain, we are looking for this particular cell, next cell, which is saying PLT dot figure. PLT is the library which has come from Matplot library, PLT dot figure. And the figure size is 14 comma five, which is indicating how long I want to plot this time domain information. Then X axis, how much size I want and Y axis, what the size I want. That way 14 and five has been marked. It is a variable, can be changed. And then grid is enabled. And then nebulosa dot display dot wave show. And what to show is the variable X where my audio file content is being saved. Now I will run this particular cell and see the signal which is appearing in time domain is really coming or not coming. So we have to run this particular cell and we see our audio signal is being plotted in time domain and the X axis is time and the Y axis is magnitude or amplitude and the label is time domain analysis of audio signal. So if we are interested to find the duration of this particular audio file or that also, if we know the length and the sampling rate of that particular signal, so we can find the time duration of this particular audio file, which I have added here. So all of you can see here, the time duration is 5 point some second, it's coming 5.9. So that's all for uh, this video. I hope the information is useful. Thank you.